Okay, so in this video, we're going to do uh, this problem here, which is on the practice test for test two uh, in ANAV. So 30 August 1981, your vessel was steaming on a course of 325 at 15 knots. An observation is the sun's lower limb was made to 836. LAN also occurs at 1157. Using the data below, and here's the data right here, uh, uh, which is ready to plot, determine the longitude of your 1157 zone time running fix. Okay? So, um, for the Coast Guard exam, you're going to have to actually do the reduction for this sun line and the reduction for LAN. But uh, today, what we're just testing you on is your uh, ability to actually plot the data once it's been reduced. So what we're going to have to do here, just for the big picture, is uh, we're going to, um, uh, I'm going to plot the, just to give you the whole rundown of this problem here, we're going to plot the uh, AP at 836, and that's going to be on 25 latitude, okay? And, um, uh, and then um, uh, we're going to advance that AP from 836 to 1157. Okay, and then once that, so this is what I'm going to do. One, okay, I'm going to plot the AP for the 0836 sun line. Okay, and this is all the skills for plotting. Then two, I'm going to advance the AP from 0836 to 1157. And then I'm going to plot the uh, advance, and I'm going to plot the uh, the uh, uh, advanced 0836 sun line. Okay. Then I'm going to plot the LAN. Okay. And then the final step will be to determine the position of the running fix. Okay, so uh, I'll be plotting that in a minute. I'm going to have to do an advance from 0836 to 1157. So let me just go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to do the math for that, okay? So uh, from, 830, from 836 to 1157, if I'm going on a course of 325 at 15 knots, okay, how many miles will I go? Okay, so let's do this here. So uh, for the advance, I'm going to do this. This is the advance calculation, 1157 and 0836. Okay, so that's one, two, three hours and 21 minutes. So uh, now what I'll do is I'm going to take that uh, 21 minutes and I'm going to convert that to decimal hours. So I'm going to divide that by 60. That gives me 0.35. So that's 3.35 hours times 15 knots. And that's going to give me the, the distance uh, times 15. And that... It, oh, uh, 3.3.25, no, excuse me, 3.35, 3.35 times 15, and that is 50.25. So that's 50.3 nautical miles, 50.3 nautical miles. So when we get to do our advance, uh, I'm going to advance 50.3 nautical miles. Okay, so now what's the next thing we're going to do? So, uh, all right, so first thing I want, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and plot this AP. So it, the, the zoom latitude is 25, and remember, I'm in south, all right? So this is tricky, right? Because when, you know, when I'm in south, um, uh, if this here is uh, 25, that makes this, that's going to make this 26, and that's going to make this uh, 24, okay? So just make sure you've got your uh, plotting sheet going the right way, okay? So I'm going to be here, and uh so 25 south and let's just go ahead and we'll make this um 31 east all right so that means it's getting bigger this way so that would make this 32 east and that would make this over here uh 30 east okay so we got our plotting sheet set up the right way now okay um and uh i can go ahead all right great so 25 okay uh all right so I'm getting my dividers now. So my uh, my assumed longitude is 3106.8 east. So uh, this uh, plotting sheet is nice and calibrated. I recommend you use uh, plotting sheet 923 and 924 for this. This is a sort of a knockoff of 924. So we're going to do um, 
uh, 6.8, which is basically 7. So there is 5, 6, 7. All right, so I can put that down there. All right, I'll use two hands to get that, to measure that pretty accurately. And that's it right there. Okay, great. So my AP is going to be right there. Okay, so that's my AP for 0836. All right, that's AP for 0836. Okay, now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to advance that AP, okay, uh, to 1157. I've already done the math for that. So I'm going to, what was my course? My course is 325. So I'm going to be going up that way, okay? So I uh, put my triangle down here. I put my, uh, my pencil on my AP. I can line this up here, all right? Let me put this up this way so you can see the calibration here. Uh, all right, I have to put it down. I have to put it down here. Um, okay, so uh, 325. Okay, uh, we'll be looking something about like that. All right, and great. All right, I can put this little puppy on there. All right, and uh, I can slide this over. All right, and I slide this over to here. And now this is my course line, 325. Okay, all right, great. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to advance. What did I say I had to advance? 50.3 nautical miles. So uh, now I'm going to do my latitude scale. So over here is uh, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, and that's 51. So 50.3 would be about right about here. So I go like this and I go like this. Okay. And now what I've done is I've advanced my AP. This is my AP. Uh, uh, to um, uh, 0836 to 1157. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plot my morning sun line off of here. Okay, so uh, my, my uh, uh, azimuth is 61.5 and my intercept is 12.9, which is basically 13 towards. So 61, uh, 61.5 should be over here somewhere. All right, so that would be about uh, 61.5. That looks about it right there. That looks pretty good. All right, and uh, right, so I can get my little thingy on here. And all right, so 61.5 is going to be uh, in that direction. Okay, and my intercept was 13. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure 13 miles over here. So I can use anything over here that I want. I can, I'm going to try to use it around the same latitude. But anyway, so that's uh, 5, 10, 11, 12, and that's 13 right there. Okay, now look, what I'm going to do here is I'm not going to draw the, the, uh, the azimuth in that direction. This, this, uh, this tool is pointing it out. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my uh, my divider down there and then my divider here. I'm just going to make a little pinhole in my chart. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, so I can see my little pinhole. It's right there. I'm going to keep this thing right here. And I'm going to take my triangle. I'm going to put it, I'm going to take advantage of this 90 degree edge here, not the long edge, the 90 degree. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put, slide that over until it just, just, just covers that little pinhole. Okay. And that looks like it's just covering it right there. Okay, great. Now I'm going to take this. I'm going to put it 90 degrees. And now this will be my LOP. And so you can see there's my little pinhole right there. And right there is my LOP. Okay. This is my um, uh, 0836 to 1157 sun. Okay, great. All right. Now I got to plot my LAN now. So what was my LAN? It was 2422. Oh, geez. Uh, okay. So 2422. So uh, here's 24. Here's 2430. So 24, 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22. Remember, we're in south latitudes. All right. So I can just mark that with my pencil 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22. That's marked right there. And now I will put my triangle up against that. And then I'll get my line here all lined up with this meridian. And so that I feel like I've got that thing nice and perpendicular. Great. And then I draw my latitude. And this is 1157. That's the sun line. And that's my running fix right there. Okay. 
So it's the intersection of my uh, LAN and my uh, morning sunline. So now uh, let's see, what is that position? Well, uh, obviously the latitude is gonna be, um, uh, you know, that latitude there. So they, they want the longitude though. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna come here and I'll put my point on my uh, little longitude there. And then I will slide my triangle up to get it nice and perpendicular. And I will mark that longitude right there. And if this is 30, that's uh, uh, 30, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 51, 52, 53. That looks like that is a 30, 53 east. And I have a 30, 52.5. So I think that's going to be the answer right there. I'm just about a, a, a half mile off.